Bucket Fillers. Yay! <laughs> I'm here with some fifth grade students today to help us get our day started right. We're going to start with our deep breath to help us focus. Are you guys ready? Yay! Yes. Y'all lead them in their deep breaths. Go ahead. Another one. Another one. One more. Awesome. Now we're going to fill our very own bucket with great, wonderful thoughts about ourselves because we are all amazing. So here we go. I'm going to start off and they're going to say some. You repeat after us. I am special. I am special. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I am kind. I, I am kind. kind. I am unique. I, I am unique. unique. I'm respectful. I'm, I'm respectful. respectful. I'm loving. I, I am loving. loving. And I am a bucket filler. I All right, now these students are going to say bye. If you see them around school today, give them a thumbs up for a good job. Bye. You know, they say that the two most stressful jobs of all the jobs in the world, the two top two are firefighter and school teacher. And I really believe that. So teachers, I know that last week was your week for Teacher Appreciation Day, but we appreciate you and value you every day. You are our most valuable resource. Yes, the children are so important and so amazing, but if we just had children and no teachers, we wouldn't have any learning, we wouldn't have any mentors, we wouldn't have any direction, we wouldn't have a school. So I just wanna tell you personally, thank you for all that you do. You are truly everyday heroes. And you may not feel like it, but you're a hero to somebody every day. You're a hero to somebody, someone, it may just be some one body, but to that one child, you are a hero to them every day. Many, many blessings to you and many, many thanks. We spell teacher and kindergarten wants to tell you what each letter stands for. T is for talking to, T is for encouraging. E is for encouraging, good. A is for activator. A is for activator. C is for cheerleader. C is for cheerleader. H is for helpful. E is for enthusiastic. Enthusiastic. R is for ready. Woo! The right way. Yay, thank you, teachers. You are talkative. You're encouragers. You're activators. You are cheerleaders every day. You're helpful, you're enthusiastic, and you're always ready. Woo! We've got Miss McLemore's class here, first grade, talking about their teacher. Tell us something. I like when she teaches math. I like when she teaches how to read so much. Woo! I like how she reads chess so much. I, I like her when she, when she reads to us. She reads to you? I like, I like when she let us sleep, sit down. I love it when she takes us to field trips. She takes you field trips? I like when she take, when she, when she let us take our shoes off. Oh. I'm happy that she be respectful to us. I'm happy that she let us go outside. <laughs> I, I don't know yet. That's okay. I want my teacher because I want my teacher because I want my teacher because she's nice. nice. These students wanted to say something sweet to their teacher, Miss Orr. You're the nice teacher in the whole wide world. We love you, Miss Orr. Oh, you're the best. You're the nice and sweetest. You're cute and kind. You're sweet. Oh, you're lovable. Oh, she's nice. Oh. I miss you so much. You miss Miss Orr? Miss Orr is beautiful. Miss Orr is beautiful. She cute. 
so pretty. She's so pretty. I'm so pretty. Cute. Oh. How much money should a teacher make? A lot of money. A lot. How much money should a teacher make? A lot. A lot. Raise your hand. How much money should a teacher make? A lot. How much money should a teacher make? $20. $20? How much money should a teacher make? $5,000. How much money should a teacher make? Nine, eight, eight dollars? One. How much money should a teacher make? One. One dollar? That's all? How much money should a teacher make? My mom's, mom, she gonna get a lot of money. A lot of money? How much money should a teacher make? A lot. How much? Ten dollars. How much money should a teacher make? Five dollars. Yeah, how much money should a teacher make? Um, a lot of money. Hi, the reason why I wanted to become a teacher is because I wanted to share my love with students who need it. I also wanted to know that I had an impact on the world and that those students will thrive and cherish in our world. Thank you, Ms. Shankley. Hi, I'm Mrs. Johnson and I'm a fourth grade teacher at Forest Hill. I love teaching. I have a love for learning myself and I love kids and working with kids and helping them to reach their goals and be successful. Um, I decided to become a teacher because I come from a long line of teachers. Um, my father's mother was a college professor. She taught English. My grandmother on my mother's side was a principal. My mom was a uh, special ed teacher for 35 years. And so it's just in me to teach and I love it. Awesome, we love you, Miss Johnson. Thank you. It's the most rewarding thing that you can do. It's, it's definitely um, something that makes you feel good. Miss Brackett, what do you love most about working with children? First of all, my mom had a house full of children. It was 11 of us, and we knew to get together. And we loved each other. And we loved going to school and being among the community children. So I decided that I wanted to work with children in the eighth grade. Wow. One of the teachers inspired me, Mrs. Floyd. Oh. I'll always remember her. And from then on, I've never wanted to do anything else but to be amongst children. I love to work with children. Well, thank you for all you do. You are truly a gift to two children to our school. Good morning, class. Good morning. Today we're going to talk about three important things. Respect, responsibility, and relationship. Chris, what are you doing? I'm sitting up here talking about respect, and you're disrespecting me. You're keeping others from learning. How would you feel if you were standing in front of the class? And I was disrespecting you. Now I need you to take a seat so I can continue keep teaching the rest of you. Now can anybody tell me what respect means? <laughs> Sarah. You're not talking while others are talking? Okay, Sarah, that was a good response. Now who else can tell me something about respect? Tony. Be nice to other people. All right, Tony, that was a great response. Now can anybody else tell me one more thing about respect? Tasha. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Exactly, Tasha. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Today I brought in a video and it's going to talk about respect and I want you guys to watch it. Very gently, like a flick of the wrist. You get my gist? Mm -hmm. Now you see how I feel. 
Jesse been standing up, I got a name and I'm real. So all you boobies, back up, back off, and, and get, get back. Listen to yourself before you start an attack. Some people have a reason to do what they do. Maybe you saw them, but maybe, maybe it happened, happened to you. Or maybe it's something in your life that you've seen. Like maybe on a TV or computer screen. But it doesn't make it right if you know that it's wrong. You know the truth is that all along be strong. It's We're building the future, so use the tools that your school has provided to do the work. work, work. 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 Got to get the job done. What is true? Then it's time for a All that fun. On the run, eat lunch, then yes, recess. It's the best. I'll play, no stress. Hard work brings easy rewards and more. Yes. But you must respect the rules of school. Four, five, four. Respect your teacher. teacher. Class, you gotta listen and learn. Raise your hand politely and speak when it's your turn. Respect the students in their time. Please don't interrupt. Follow the direction so you know what's up. We face each other. other. Don't make the classmates feel low. Lift them up. Put some water on our plants. Help it grow. And if you have a problem, then learn to use your words. Express yourself. The way your feelings are hurt. So focus on the mission at hand, and the plan is to foster your success. The man only the best you can do it with your teachers and your parents' support. And you can show that reporter when you get your report. And your grades up and doors down the road, don't you know? Good grades, good job, good show. Oh. So let me give you lots of smiling faces and check, but only if you understand. Treat, treat people the way you want to be treated.